Sometimes Sheldon and I both go casual. Cool, short-sleeved. Maybe we'll have a graphic on the front of our body. Maybe a superhero. That's time right there. Now, Sheldon's fashion, if you watch Flash t-shirt. He loves superheroes and comics. There it is right there, the iconic Flash t-shirt. I don't have any Flash t-shirts in my closet, but I do have a lot of plain black t-shirts. We have 57,583 of you flashing onto Puzzle 3. We lost 14,470 of you gone in a flash. Tell, tell the loved ones and the shirts that you have now that you love them, because you never know. It might be your last time to wear that shirt. Now, sometimes even the kind of us get frustrated. So for puzzle number three, buddies, riddle me this exclamation. Exclamation is your clue for puzzle three. Now, also remember that you can't curse on television, okay? Or on HQ. So this exclamation is a twist on a classic. On TBBT, Leonard Leakey Hofstadter utters this exclamation. It's a Battlestar Galactica reference. You with me? That's time right there. I hope you got this one. This is a little toughie right here. The answer, what the frack? What the frack? I mean, I'm, I'm asking what the frack to 21,048. If you got that one right, wrong, 37,259. No, what the frack is going on. And I'm with you, buddies. We'll move on to puzzle number four. Now, self-care is important. And sometimes if you're feeling down or lost or alone, the best thing you can do is to throw on some tunes. So for puzzle four, tell me young Sheldon's tune. Young Sheldon's tune is your clue. Now Sheldon's tune is about something that many of us find comfort and happiness in. You show me this on Twitter. It's always nice to be cozy, snuggled up with a little friend. I have a dog named Tiny Taco Party, but other people have other kinds of pets. Young Sheldon's tune. What you singing? Do you get, are you singing the right tune? Because the answer is Soft Kitty. Now, I heard my boy Matt Richards singing this one earlier for you. Soft Kitty, Warm Kitty. Something about a ball of fur. I don't watch that show. I don't know. 35,082 of you are petting the softest little kitty you got. We lost 3,462 of y'all. And we're cruising on to puzzle number five. Now, everyone makes mistakes, buddies. And if you do, just apologize. It's that easy. But for puzzle five, it's all about undoctored character. Undoctored character is your clue. Now, character also refers to a made-up person on a TV show. And lots of people on TVBT have very brainy jobs. Blossom is a genius in real life, but some people aren't PhDs. Some people are game show hosts on apps. Some people are engineers. Lots of different kinds of jobs for characters to have. And that's right there. Do you figure this one out? Mm, I feel like this one might be a brutal one. We have Howard Holowitz. He is an engineer on the Big Bang Theory. He is not a doctor. 26,337 of you are crushing it. And we lost 8,881 of you. That was a tough one. A proper name is a tough one. So you either knew it or you didn't. Now, it's always important to stay organized to help keep all of your affairs in order. So for puzzle number six, tell me the name of this important document. Important document is your clue. Now, people have all kinds of contracts. There's employment contracts, housing contracts, marriage contracts. But before you get married, you and your boo should maybe start off with one of these, maybe? Maybe try cohabitating? Your parents won't like it, but it's the best way to figure out if you're compatible. There it is. Now, an important document to have with someone you live with is a roommate agreement. Now, Big Bang's known for these long-running jokes, and the roommate agreement is referenced over and over again. So good. 26,064 of you sign on the dotted line, and 632 of you are getting the boot. You're not, you're not on, the, on the lease anymore. And I have great news, everybody. After that glitch, we are now halfway through the game. I thought we'd never make it this far. Neither did some of you on Twitter. Hopefully we kept you calm, we soothed those nerves, give you a little salve for your nerves. How about that? Here we go. Now this show has been in the zeitgeist for years, and I, I even remember all the buzz surrounding this. First Contact. First Contact is your clue for Puzzle 7. First Contact. Now this is a show with a good amount of characters on it. Some of them are just friends, some of them are romantically involved, some have been both throughout the show's history. These, these two characters already knew each other, but this first contact was very important. We're making contact, that's it. Did you make contact? Did you figure this one out? Now, Penny and Leonard's kiss. 
Oh, you gotta love a smooch on TV, don't you? 23,316 of you all are puckering up. Mwah, that's for you right there. Oh boy, I don't want to see the screen grab at that moment, but I'm sure you'll send it to me. We lost 2,786 of you. We're cruising on to puzzle number ocho. Now, it is great to have hobbies. I obviously love my dog. I love going on adventures, but some people enjoy indoor sports. So for puzzle number eight, tell me this TBBT lane name. Lane name is your clue. Now, the characters on this show are smart, but the writers are so, so smart because they made Sheldon's bowling team name an inside joke for Star Trek fans. It's kind of a cool crossover. Does the name Will Wheaton ring a bell for any of y'all? Lane name? It's also his character name on Star Trek. I've said too much. Now, the lane name we're looking for is the Wesley Crushers. The Wesley Crushers. 15,296 of y'all are crushing it. 8,376, you're a gutter ball, baby. You're a gutter ball, but that's all right. We'll put the bumpers up next time. You'll get them tomorrow night. Now, if you're gonna work like a word nerd, you better play like a word nerd. I think everyone on TBBT would have loved playing HQ Words, PS, but for puzzle number eight, tell me this, fictional game. Fictional game is your clue. Now, the show, like we said, was known for some of its long-running jokes. The Soft Kitty song was a jo long-running joke. And this one, kind of poking fun at Magic the Gathering fans. Did you play those games? They're fun. It's Enchanted Bunny ringing a bell. Anyone? Oh, this one's gonna be tough. You're gonna be not happy with me. I can already tell after this, but that's okay. No, the answer for puzzle nine, Mystic Warlords of Ka. Oh, I don't even wanna see. Okay, we lost 12,804 of you. Hope you polished up an apple. Hope you did your homework, cause y'all got schooled right there. Uh, that's what we do when you get schooled. 3,687 of you still in the game. That prize money just got sweeter. I'm sorry for the ones we lost. Hope you stick around. We have more shout outs at the end of the game for more of my Twitter buddies. Now, a lot of shows will do stunt casting for ratings, but the Big Bang Theory was also known for some of their Appropriate guest stars. Appropriate guest stars is your clue. I think I said this earlier before the game went haywire. But just like I'm an appropriate guest star for HQ Words because I love words and puzzles, a show about science should have some science guys on them, right? Some famous TV science guys, a pair of them. All right, we're almost there. Now, it's two proper names. These are always brutal. Neil deGrasse Tyson and Bill Nye, two science guys. I grew up with Bill Nye. We have 5,004 of you still in the game. And everyone, stop posting that video of Bill Nye saying the F word. It's ruining my childhood memories. We lost 1,417 of you. Bye-bye, because we're on to puzzle 11. Now, when you're looking to relax, it's important to have your favorite places where you can just be yourself. So for puzzle 11, riddle me this, hangout. Hangout is your clue. I like hanging out in the park. I have a dog, his name is Tiny Taco Party. But if you enjoy swimming, you would probably hang out at the pool. If you're a little old lady, you might be from this town. And if you enjoy graphic novels and the like, you might like this place. My friend Lauren Lapkus is on the show and she works at this place, this hangout. That's it right there. Shout out to Lauren Lapkus, the comic center of Pasadena. Ah, oh, man, you gotta love a good comic shop. We got 4,350 of you by, you get a, a free sweep. Run around, pick up whatever you want from the Comic Center of Pasadena. Everyone else, hit the bricks, you're out of here. And I, I, I never thought we'd make it. On, I'd like to thank the Academy for bringing me all the way to our final puzzle. After a glitch like that, I deserve a mimosa, quite frankly. It's not a mimosa day. Mimosa day, I have already had one? <laughs> All right, now we all have our little quirks, right? I mean, obviously, little things that we do or the little things that we ignore for too long. And the Big Bang Theory was known for its quirks. So your final clue of the night on the Big Bang Theory night is dashboard confession. Dashboard confession is your clue. Oh man, I used to love dashboard confessional. That band just blasting that sweet emo when I'd be driving, windows down, just being young and free and emotional, woo! But I'll tell you, when you're driving, you need to heed all of the warnings that your car gives you. One character didn't. Dashboard confession. We made it all the way. It's 
It's past my bedtime. Puzzle number 12, the answer is your check engine light is on. Your check engine light is on. It looks like 3,426 of you got your engine serviced, because guess what? You won HQ words tonight. Congratulations to 3,426 of you. Let's check in with the sweet babies who won. Oh my, I really, you're stepping up your game with these icons. We have Putin1337 winning 30 cents. Okay, whatever you want. You don't need that money. Uh, I Lollop won 30 cents and looks like AlgioChamp07. Oh, can you just make these names easier words that I don't have to pronounce and sound out phonetically? Congratulations to everyone who won, everyone who suffered because of the glitch, you know. It's a live game show, we're doing our best. And that's our game for today. A big congrats to the Big Bang Theory and to all of their loyal fans. Kevin Sturmer, I'm looking at you, buddy. Congrats to all of our winners tonight. And remember, if you didn't go all the way tonight, the more you play, the quicker and better you get at HQ Words. It's definitely a skill. It's a skill you can definitely develop. So if tonight wasn't your day, I'm sure you're gonna crush it tomorrow. And great news, Words is live every day at 9.30 Eastern time. So tune in every dang day and get wordy with it. Games are fun. We have fun, right? I always have such a fun time playing with all you buddies. Now, now's another good time to take some screenshots of me. Here we go. I've been Timothy Dunn. <laughs> These are screenshot times. I don't know. I've been Timothy Dunn this whole dang time. More shout outs to my HQ Twitter buddies. Congrats to Travis and his awesome job, his awesome family, and his awesome little kitty, Minu. Hello to Aaron and his grinchy little bird, Cookie. And I see you, Jonathan, with your cute pup, Luna. And Pancakes the puppy wearing a tiny sombrero. Ashley, you just made me the happiest buddy in the whole dang world. <laughs> Say hi to me on the internet. If you'd like a shout out of your own, please keep sending me pics of all of your cute pets. And remember, buddies, it is cool to be smart. It is cool to be different. And it is cool to be kind to each other. Take very good care of yourselves and each other. I'll see you all very soon. Bye, buddies. Bye.